So this is a great story. Uber and Lyft driver, I think he's shattered multiple records, right? He did a hundred and twelve trips in 24 hours. Sent me all the proof, right? And he did a total of 500 trips in one week. In one week, right? Uh, if I jump over here to Uber and I go through all the trips, I've verified everything. Uh, he is who he is. Uh, sent me the info along with this letter. And again, I'll challenge anyone to beat those numbers, right? And by the way, he's bringing out a book. The moment his book is ready for publication, come to me, Mark. I will do a video on you. The guy has a lot to tell. He's been in the business for three years and he's clocked up 25,301 rides in three years. My friends, that's an average of over 8,000 trips a year. Can anyone out there, and again, anyone out there beat those numbers that I've just shared with you? So he says, following up on the conversation yesterday, I did at least 25,301 rides in three years from March 2017 to March 2020. I stopped driving in March 2020 because I purposefully, purposefully moved out of my ride share eligibility market area so I could force myself to work on my ride share related book without the temptation of driving. So it always lured him back in, right? Um, I have about two months left before the book is completed. In 2019, I decided to videotape all my rides on Dashcam. I set lofty goals as part of a book project to distinguish myself from other drivers. I deliberately set out to establish world bests in most rides in one day, 112, and he showed it to me broke it down. I have the evidence. I've reviewed it. It's true. And in one week, 500 and may very well have world's best and most rides completed in one year, two years, and maybe even three years. I believe that. Um, I won't have a formal number um, on the trips for each year until I've gone through all the data because Uber doesn't count rides that end after 4 a.m at the end of the week and both Uber and Lyft count paid canceled rides for total rides but not the completed rides needed for bonuses. So Uber and Lyft's official count is actually much higher than my 25,301 rides in three years. At one stretch I completed at least one ride a day for 214 straight days December 27th 2018 to July 28th, 2019. I averaged at least 211 completed trips for the 52 weeks ending in 2019. I also started off 2019 with 27 consecutive weeks of $2,000 plus in gross earnings. I ended up grossing $104,000 for the 2019 year but because of my knowledge of how to spend money that correlates to tax deductions, I only ended up paying $453 between federal and state taxes. I will cover that in my book. I'm not sure what the name of my book will be, but it will be something like either The Rideshare Hustler, The Rideshare Saint, or The World's King of Rideshare. I like, I like the third one. I like the third one and the first one, Rideshare Hustler. I'll probably let someone else title it after they read the draft. And by the way, at this point, come up, you guys come up with a, a name for his book. Maybe he will choose one of those titles. Please write it in the comments box. Help him come up with a cool title, knowing that I have verified all his data. He is who he is, and he's sharing this amazing news these records with us and again anyone out there is more than willing to um, send me the proof did you do more in a 24-hour shift have you done more trips over three years and have you done more than 500 trips in one week please i challenge you right 
So I'll probably let someone else title it after they read the draft. I have never heard anything from your channel that I disagree with. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, you're spot on with everything about Uber and Lyft. Every day I drove in 2019 chasing these book project goals. I always knew that I could wake up deactivated on a false complaint and my book project would be in serious jeopardy. So I never escalated any situation and gave five stars over 99% of the time. Let me know if you need the screenshots for the 500 trips, which I've already, he sent me. He sent it to me in a separate, a separate um, email, thank you, in one week. It may take a few days to get those to you since 2019 is the only year I have not completed screenshots for. Most drivers don't think the 112 and 500 trips is possible, but it is also on videotape as well. I carried around 12 micro discs and put in a clean one every day. At the end of the week, I would transfer the dash cam data to a 10 terabyte storage drive. Man, this guy is prepared. The top drivers in Chicago never heard of me and don't believe me because I live two hours away in Champaign, but drove in both cities and others to maximize earnings and try to keep a low profile. I always drove with a change of clothes, showered at a Planet Fitness, but slept in my car at O'Hare or Midway T&P lot to avoid paying hotel costs and maximize time. Wow. Respect. Respect on that. He was hunting those records and man, did he do that. I actually got Uber and Lyft to change a few things which I'll talk about in my book. Let me know if you have any questions or need anything else. Thanks for all you do. And Mark Thompson, I just want to say a huge thank you to you, right? You, you have allowed me to share this amazing data, this amazing data with the rideshare world. I hope it goes viral. I will be your biggest promoter of your book. I can tell you that. We'll do many reviews. Um, I did several reviews for that, for, uh, for Harry, the rideshare guy on his book, because it was absolute magnificent. And I'm sure you're going to follow in his footsteps. Please stay safe out there. You and your family, the Thompson family, uh, God bless you. And um, you know what, like I always say, records are there to be broken. Right now, in my eyes, you hold several titles. And if anyone can beat that, by all means, but you've got to send me the proof like Mark did. I welcome it and I'll make another video. Until then, have a great weekend.